Welcome to AI in Health, Transforming Tomorrow's Care, where we will be discussing all things that have to do with the future of AI and healthcare. Since the introduction of artificial intelligence in the 1950s as just the idea of machine learning, there's been a steady and quick rise in its presence in many fields. The purpose of the series is to present the effect of AI in the medical field and discuss potential future developments. The majority of technology developments in medical history, including neurology, are supported by AI. It serves as a catalyst for understanding various brain processes, assisting in the identification of illnesses, and even making therapy recommendations. The reason we are creating this podcast series is to inform the public of what is to come in terms of AI in healthcare. We hope that our listeners will walk away more informed and prepared for what is to come. Hello, my name is Sydney Bond. I am a sophomore currently at the University of Kentucky where I am studying agricultural and medical biotechnology and animal science. I have hopes of attending vet school when I graduate, so I will most likely experience some form of AI in my career. Even though it will not be human medicine, it is still very likely that AI will one day make its way into my field of medicine. In my episode, I will address the potential positive impacts of artificial intelligence in the medical field. Hi, my name is Lauren Mullikin. I'm also currently a sophomore at the University of Kentucky where I am studying biology. I later plan on attending medical school, so this topic has proven significant to me because I know my time in the medical field will be greatly impacted by AI. This research has provided me with a glimpse of what it could look like to work alongside it, and it's important that I recognize AI as a useful tool that will benefit me, but it's also crucial that we discuss what can be improved upon. Hi, I'm Sumaya Majumdar, a University of Kentucky marketing major who will graduate in spring 2024. I'm excited to be interviewing neuroscience specialists for a series of posts about how AI is used in medical field by the medical students. Despite the fact that I have no personal experience in the field of neuroscience, my work as an undergraduate research assistant with AI brings a significant perspective to this investigation. Anticipating exploring the unique connection between artificial intelligence and medicine. My experience as an AI-focused undergraduate research assistant has been crucial in providing me with the information and abilities I need for this project. I have had I have had the honor of being a part of this amazing process, which is a testament to the revolutionary power of AI in healthcare. Through interviews with Experts in neuroscience, my goal is to provide a thorough knowledge of the ways in which medical students use AI to further their understanding of the human brain. These professionals are pursuing, they are pushing the envelope of what's feasible with their advanced research and invention. I want to understand how AI has affected their work and what possibilities it has for the future by having a discussion with them. Throughout this podcast series, we aim to answer our main research question. How will the rise in artificial intelligence impact various sectors of the medical field? In our upcoming episodes, we plan to explore the extensive impacts of AI in the field of medicine, addressing challenges as well as highlighting its potential. There will be three individual podcast episodes following this one. The first one will adopt a positive perspective when discussing AI and will address the positive impacts of AI in medicine and the improvements it can make in the future and its potential. The second episode will discuss the disadvantages and drawbacks of AI. We'll explore the negative impacts of AI in medicine, what AI will take away from medical fields, and the specific challenges and biases of AI. The last episode will be centered around an interview done with someone involved in neuroscience research. Using this interview, we'll be able to dive into more specific utilizations of AI and first-hand experiences shared by those in the medical field. It is important to note that artificial intelligence in medicine will not only affect doctors or professionals who work within the medical field, but anyone who might use modern medicine. As consumers of modern medicine and its practices, we will also be affected by the changes that are being made in the medical field. The general public can expect to see a change in the way that medical practice is run, for example. Who knows, maybe someday there will be a medical clinic solely run by AI. Far-fetched ideas aside, it is important that everyone knows what is coming and what they can expect to see as AI evolves in medicine. 
And that is all we have for this introductory episode. We look forward to having you join us through this series about the future of medicine. Hello, and welcome to our first episode of our series, AI and Health Transforming Tomorrow's Care. As a reminder, my name is Sydney, and in this episode, I will be covering the potential benefits that AI will pose on the medical field. The options are endless for what will be impacted by artificial intelligence. As discussed briefly in the introduction episode, the possibilities are really endless for almost every career. Broadly, the speed of completing tasks by utilizing AI will be greatly improved for a lot of fields. More specifically, AI has the possibility to greatly enhance the sciences. The sheer amount of data that AI is able to process at a fraction of the time is actually quite daunting compared to the computational power of the human mind. When narrowed down to the medical sciences, this speed of computational power can be directly applied to specific areas of medicine that will benefit from AI. Patients will greatly benefit due to the increased patient data management, diagnostics will likely improve, drugs are likely to be discovered faster, future outbreaks may be able to be predicted well in advance, as well as an overall improvement in note-taking and communication. All are examples of ways that healthcare is likely to improve just due to the sheer introduction of artificial intelligence. Just at a glance, I'm already rather impressed with how we, as consumers, are likely to benefit, not to mention all the ways medical professionals will see improvements. I will now go into specific details about some of the examples I mentioned earlier. Probably the most impressive and impactful benefit of AI in healthcare is its improved efficiency in diagnoses. Using millions of previous successful treatment plans and cases, AI will be able to construct a specific treatment plan for an individual. Something that may concern some people is the fact that not one patient is identical, and the differences in genetics and lifestyle can completely change a case. However, AI will have the capability of automatically taking these factors into consideration and is already revolutionizing personalized medicine. Bardouaj, as well as the other contributing authors of the journal article published in Life, Artificial Intelligence and Biological Sciences, insist that in using AI to predict treatment plans, clinicians may better predict which disease treatment and preventative strategies will be most effective for a particular patient group. Not only will AI-suggested treatment plans increase health outcomes, but it is also likely that treatment costs will be drastically lowered. This was also stated by by Bardouage in their article. This revolutionization of diagnostic capabilities will also very likely take off some of the workload for clinicians and professionals. In one specific study published by a leading oncology journal, AI was proven to be more effective in diagnosing skin cancer than licensed dermatologists. Peter Hoffland, author of Artificial Intelligence Better Than Dermatologists in Diagnosing Skin Cancer, stated that the CNN, Convolutional Neural Network, missed fewer melanomas and misdiagnosed benign moles less often as malignant than the group of dermatologists. The CNN was trained on 100,000 images of varying malignant and benign moles and accurately detected 95% of the melanomas, while expert dermatologists were only able to accurately detect 86.6%. Now, I won't lie, as someone who has a family history of melanomas, this study kind of shocked me. But that only made me think about the incredible power of AI and what we as consumers have to look forward to in the very near, near future. A Japanese woman in 2016 owes her life to AI. Artificial intelligence was able to accurately diagnose her condition after many failed attempts by doctors. Jolene Creighton, a journalist for Futurism, wrote the article, AI saves woman's life by identifying her disease when other methods, humans, fail. In this article, Creighton details how IBM's artificial intelligence AI system Watson just saved the life of a Japanese woman by correctly identifying her disease. She states that for many years, the woman was inaccurately diagnosed and treated for acute myeloid leukemia. The woman did not respond to the treatments, which left the doctors lost and confused. After comparing her genetic material to 20 million oncology studies, artificial intelligence was able to accurately diagnose the woman with a very rare form of leukemia in just 10 minutes. 
Doctors would not have physically been able to sort, or at least not as quickly, through the 20 million studies that AI was able to use to find her disease. This diagnosis was able to save the woman's life and goes to prove that AI has the power to change the world in the coming years, as Satoru Miyano, a professor at the University of Tokyo's Institute of Medical Science, said in an interview. Not only will the consumers benefit from faster diagnoses, more cost-effective options, and overall improved treatment outcomes, but the practitioners themselves are likely to benefit from the implementation of AI. Medical professionals can expect to see an overall improvement in the focus of patient care. Today, on average, 70% of a practitioner's work and time is taken up by routines and administrative tasks, as stated by Dr. Angela Spatharu, the senior partner and leader at EMEA Healthcare and Life Sciences and the contributing authors of the report, Transforming Healthcare with AI, the impact on the workforce and organizations. The implementation of automation of such routine tasks will allow doctors and professionals to take more time to focus on patient care. The implementation of automation for routine tasks is actively wanted by healthcare workers already and that will increase the speed of monotonous daily tasks. Patients will also receive higher quality care with the direct increase of time spent with the practitioners. More one-on-one time with the patients will greatly benefit the professionals and is likely to reduce burnout. Being able to spend more time doing what they enjoy, healthcare facilities are likely to see a rise in staff morale and increase retention rates among clinicians and medical professionals. This fact holds very close to me because I know several people who work within healthcare who struggle with burnout. The potential positive emotional improvements for professionals are incredible to see. Clearly, everyone has the potential to benefit from artificial intelligence making its way into the healthcare sector. Not only the patients, but the medical professionals themselves can expect to see positive impacts from AI in medicine. However, there are many possible downfalls of AI that will emerge as its use becomes more prevalent in healthcare. Lauren will discuss some of the potential negative impacts that the medical field will encounter with AI in our next episode of AI in Health, Transforming Tomorrow's Care. I've been Sydney. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you will join us for our next episode. Bye. Hello, and welcome back to the second episode of our podcast, AI in Health, Transforming Tomorrow's Care. My name is Lauren Mulligan. After covering the benefits of AI in the medical field in the first episode, we will use this episode to discuss the negative impacts and disadvantages of AI in medicine. When it comes to artificial intelligence in general, it has the capability to complete a wide variety of tasks. A lot of people use AI on the daily, maybe without even realizing it. A facial recognition, autocorrect, social media feeds, Google searches, when AI starts to interact in one's workspace, completing even minute tasks, that's when these people start to resent AI and fear the future of their roles or even their salaries and their careers. And I think it's reasonable for people to feel this way. The completion of certain healthcare tasks by AI, such as medical imaging evaluations, leads to concerns about job displacement for radiologists and other healthcare professionals. It's important to find balance between AI guidance and human expertise, especially when considering the significance of face-to-face interactions. In the article, Will AI Eventually Replace Doctors, David Dranov and Greg Garthwaite, professors of strategy at Kellogg, discuss how the integration of AI in healthcare would affect the central role of the physician. Dranov says, quote, there's a need for compassion in communication that AI is unable to contribute, end quote. Especially with certain more serious diagnoses, patients might feel more comfortable discussing their medical future with a human. Another question that is raised about AI in healthcare is how accurate it can truly be. In the article I mentioned earlier, the authors talked about studies that showed AI could help guide radiologists to produce more accurate evaluations. But it's hard to tell how much physicians should depend on AI. The over-reliance on AI could eventually lead to reduced level of clinical assessment. A misdiagnosis or improper treatment plan might occur if those in healthcare trust guidance provided by AI without any critical assessment. The extent to which we can rely on AI in healthcare also depends on data collection, which brings up another challenge that must be faced. In the scholarly journal, Artificial Intelligence, How Is It Changing Medical Sciences and Its Future, 
Kainat Priya Basu writes of AI applications in medical sciences and their accurate ability to complete certain tasks. However, problems arise when it comes to data. It can be difficult to collect unbiased data or create an unbiased model. He writes, quote, the creation of well-performing models relies on the availability of large quantities of high quality data, end quote. AI algorithms can easily inherit biased data from collections. A data collection biased in terms of race, gender, age group, socioeconomic status will train a model to then also become biased. Data collected must represent everyone of a population equally in order to ensure fairness. Data has to be carefully processed because if medical practices rely on biased data to make diagnostic and treatment recommendations, inaccurate diagnoses or treatment plans will be made, potentially harming patients. Bias data has presented to be a serious problem recently, showing real-life shocking effects. In the article, Algorithms Are Making Decisions About Healthcare Which May Only Worsen Medical Racism, the author Crystal Grant writes about how AI and algorithmic systems used in medicine will worsen racial biases. She describes that, quote, in 2019, a bombshell study found that a clinical algorithm many hospitals were using to decide which patients need care was showing racial bias. Black patients had to be deemed much sicker than white patients to be recommended for the same care. This happened because the algorithm had been trained on past data on healthcare spending, which reflects a history in which black patients had less to spend on their healthcare compared to white patients due to long-standing wealth and income disparities." End quote. This isn't the only time something like this has happened. The article mentions other instances where algorithmic systems detected races or even disabilities, leading to the making of decisions that affected them negatively. Under-regulated systems and biased data discriminate against vulnerable racial groups when it really should be a priority that everyone receives the best medical care possible. The collection and breakdown of data requires a large amount of sensitive data. Basu, author of the article mentioned earlier, writes, quote, The issue of data collection is shrouded in controversy due to patient privacy and due to recent incidents of data breaches by major corporations, end quote. Patients should not have to worry about the privacy of their information or whether that information will lead to them being treated differently. Data breaches may allow insurance companies to access data affecting who they might decide to grant medical insurance to because of cost. When it comes to healthcare, all patients should be able to receive fair and accurate treatments. While AI might improve medical decisions in some aspects, these systems have also proven to make the medical field risky and unpredictable. If these drawbacks can be addressed, healthcare will greatly benefit. Thank you for listening. Listen to the next episode for an interesting interview about AI systems. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to podcast series AI in Health Transforming Tomorrow's Care. Uh, today is episode three, which is AI in Neuroscience and Medicine. I'm Sumaya Mujumda. Today, I will be interviewing our guest, Nisa Zahin, who is a neuroscience major. Welcome to the show, Nisa. Thank you, Sumaya. Let's begin by discussing your journey from begin being a medical student working with AI technologies. Of course. Uh, well, it all started during my time in college. I became interested in the potential of AI to revolutionize healthcare. I realized that AI could analyze large amounts of data, detect patterns, and provide valuable insights in the medical field. That's fascinating. Yes, it truly is. Did you have any uh, first-hand experience using AI technologies during your time in college in med- or medical school? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, during my medical school, I had the opportunity to work with AI technologies in research projects. We used AI algorithms to analyze medical imaging data and predict certain outcomes. That sounds really amazing. Yeah, it was indeed a game changer in terms of efficiency and accuracy. Have you ever encountered any biases concerning AI in the field, in the medical field? Uh, yes, there have been concerns about biases in AI systems. Certainly, studies have indicated that biases in the data used to train AI algorithms can have an impact on those algorithms. If the training data for AI algorithms is not representative or diverse enough to represent the population under study, biases may develop in the algorithms. 
particularly when it represent the population under study i'm um, sorry uh, when it comes to concerns of uh, health disparities and marginalized populations this might result in unfair or incorrect outcomes this is significant in the medical industry because biased ai algorithms might result in incorrect diagnosis and insufficient care for specific populations that's an important aspect to consider yes it is have you personally come across any instances where ai directly altered your work in the medical field indeed i have in my research we analyzed brain imaging data and predict certain neurological diseases using artificial intelligence technology seeing how ai could advance our knowledge of the brain and possibly lead to better diagnostic and treatment plans was incredibly exciting that's incredible thank you sumaya due to the biases um, and in unreliable answers given by ai some people question whether it is wise to rely on ai technologies in the medical field in near future it's certainly a valid concern ai technologies are still evolving and it's important to address the biases and limitations associated with them in one of the research artificial intelligence and dna methylation analysis of circulating cell free dna for lung cancer detection done by bahadur singh says recent advances in machine learning point to a significant potential for future impact on medical research and practice It has been noted that AI methods could potentially make significant contributions in the medical field in areas such as understanding diseases, underlying architecture, performing early diagnosis of diseases and predicting disease progression. Absolutely. Addressing biases and ensuring reliable answers from AI technologies are crucial for their successful implementation in in the medical field. I completely agree. Yeah because I recently I have went over uh, one of the research um research adoption of novel biomarker test parameters with machine language based algorithms for the early detection of spaces in hospital practice done by Manedi saying that one of the critical concerns artificial artificial intelligence practices a uh, practitioners today is managing biases Every healthcare professional who uses new technologies or help build them has a responsibility to ask about the data used to train the system and how the system results are checked for biases. Yes, that's very true. How do you think AI will impact your sector which is neuroscience in the medical field? Um neuroscience might experience a revolution because of AI. We can now examine enormous amounts of brain imaging data and find correlations and patterns that were previously hard to find thanks to artificial intelligence technologies. AI has greatly influenced the development of theories in neurology with gains in neuroscience serving as an inspiration for advances in AI. That's great. Yes, that's truly exciting. In your experience Nisa what pro- what prospects do you see for cooperation between academic and professional AI expert and medical professionals Um the collaboration between academic AI experts and medical professionals is crucial for the successful application of AI in the medical field I have seen that in the research study application of artificial intelligence in digital games based on mathematical statistics done by Zhu they mentioned they mentioned that we believe that a better understanding of biological brains could play a crucial role in building intelligent intelligent machine Yeah I completely agree Have you come across any setbacks or challenges in using AI in the medical field Yeah there are certainly challenges when it comes to implementing AI in the medical field One major setback is the issue of biases in AI algorithms. It's crucial to address biases in AI algorithms especially in the medical field where accurate and unbiased results are paramount. Absolutely, with the potential benefits of using AI in the medical field, it is important to also consider the challenges and risks. Because Bahadur Singh also mentioned recent advances advances in medical learning point to a significant potential for future impact on medical research and practice. I agree, there are certainly potential benefits of applying AI to the medical field. Um Nisa, can you elaborate on some of these potential benefits? Uh yeah, 
uh, like improved diagnostic accuracy, quicker and more effective data analysis, individualized treatment recommendations based on a patient's unique medical history, and the capacity to spot patterns and trends in large amounts of data that would be challenging for humans to notice are undoubtedly some potential advance, are potential advantages of utilizing AI in the medical field. Um, the following areas in which AI techniques could potentially have a major impact on medicine are comprehending disease, underlying architecture, perform earlier diagnosis of diseases, and disease progression prediction. That's incredible. Yeah, it is truly amazing how AI has the potential to revolutionize the medical field and improve patient care. Uh, it certainly seems like AI has a lot of potential in the medical field. Absolutely. It is essential for the academic and professional AI experts to collaborate with medical professionals to ensure that AI technologies are de developed and implemented in an ethical and effective manner to address biases and ensure reliable and unbiased results. By addressing biases in AI algorithms, we can ensure that healthcare outcomes are fair and equitable for all patients. As researcher Goel has mentioned in Artificial Intelligence in Medicine, its working potential and challenges that in the implementation of AI in clinical practice will also require that trainees learn how to best integrate AI in practice. And therefore, a specific AI and algorithms module will have to be included in the future medical training circular. That's an interesting point about the integration of AI into medical training. Yes, it's, more, it's important for future medical professionals to receive training on how to effectively integrate AI technologies into their practice. This will ensure that they can leverage AI technologies to enhance patient care and make informed decisions. Absolutely. The integration of AI into medical training can help prepare healthcare professionals for the in increasing role of AI in clinical practice. Moving on, how do you think AI will impact the field of neuroscience in the medical field? Um, I think AI has the potential to greatly impact the field of neuroscience in the medical field. It can help analyze complex brain imaging data and identify patterns of abnormalities that might be difficult for humans to detect. This can lead to early detection and more accurate diagnosis of neurological conditions. Wow, that's insane. Yeah, it's fascinating advancement in the field. Personalized treatment plans that take into account each patient's unique traits and reaction to various treatments can also be developed with the help of AI algorithms for patients with neurological illness. When using AI algorithms in neuroscience, it's essential to recognize the deal with any potential biases that might exist. Similar to healthcare, bias in AI algorithms can have negative outcomes, um, such as skewed treatment recommendations or incorrect interpretations of brain imaging data. As a result, in order to guarantee the accuracy and equity of the outcomes, a thorough procedure of observing and verifying the algorithm's performance is required. This will enable researchers and medical professionals to comprehend the process by which AI derives its results and to make well-informed choices based on the algorithm's suggestions. Neuroscience stands to gain a great deal from explainable AI, since it can provide academics with new perspectives on the intricate workings of the brain and deepen our knowledge of neuro neurological conditions. That was a really great explanation. My last question for you is, how do you anticipate AI role in medical fields changing over the next five to 10 years? And what guidance would you offer students considering a similar career path? Um, as for the future of AI in medical fields, we can anticipate significant advancements in the next five to 10 years. AI algorithms will continue to evolve and improve their ability to analyze and interpret complex brain data. This will lead to more accurate diagnosis of neurological disorders and better treatment outcomes for patients. Nisa, I appreciate you sharing your insightful thoughts on the dynamic interaction between AI and medicine.
after uh, this conversation and interview i can definitely say that we have learned a lot about ai that how it's putting an impact in medical sector and specifically in neuroscience um like for some for example some of the takeaways is uh take takeaways are potential benefit of ai using ai some of the biases and challenges that we should av always be aware of when we are using ai um how it's putting an impact in neuroscience and also in future how it will look like when you will uh, when when um doctors will be using ai in medical sector um thanks for tuning um our channel and stay tuned for ai in health transforming tomorrow's care thank you so much